Okay, hey guys. <clears throat> so things are dry and we've got some plastic stuffed in the part that we've been working on with our quote and our, our face and everything. And I want to do some coloring and painting on the rest of the canvas. So I've stuffed this plastic in here to protect that center part. And um, I'm still sick, so I'm sorry if I seem out of it. There's a reason for that. Um, so we are going to uh, paint the outside and I want to keep it white, brown, neutral, maybe some gold. Like I want the bright pop to be here and more neutrally colors to be out here. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is paint some of this here that's showing on these torn back flaps white. Um, and I think actually I'm going to use gesso um, because it's more opaque than the Tattered Angels paint. Just going to dry off my brush a bit so it's not too watery. I could use something else. I could use, you know, a heavy body like a Liquitex paint or something. Um, honestly, I just don't feel like digging it out, to be honest with you. Now, the gesso may not completely cover the overspray from the Tattered Angel spray because that's water soluble. Um, so it's we're gonna probably have to live with some of that, but that's okay. Okay. So we're gonna just do that. I have a bunch of samples of Tattered Angel sprays. I also have some of their Glimmer Glam glazes, which we use the green in the center. And we may use a little bit of the green here on the outside too. Um, this is Ivory, it says Ivory BB Blackboard. And this says GM, so Glimmer Glam, I'm thinking. These are from their small little like they have paint and sample kits where you can get small sizes of the sprays and usually one paint. They have different kinds of sets to do different kinds of things like naturally aged wood and stuff like that. So um, you can get, again, you can get these on the um, Tattered Angels, I mean, sorry, Canvas Corp website. Um, I have cardboard, it just says cardboard. I have ivory. Boardwalk, which looks like a gray, sparkly gray, and I have one called Stone. I have a, I bought a big bottle of it because I actually really like this color. <clears throat> so I think we're going to start out with the lightest color and work our way darker, um, which is the ivory. Then Stone is really light. Then cardboard, and then Boardwalk. And I've got my heat gun close so I can play with that and get it to dry. I also have baby wipes. So say I get too much spray somewhere, I can, you know, blot it back with a baby wipe. I want it to be uneven and messy. I don't want it to be too perfect. Right? I also can drip it with the water. Okay, so let's dry that just a little bit. Keeping careful not to melt the plastic, of course. So then we're going to take stone this is one of my favorite colors and now you can see some of the crackle show up let me zoom in so can you see some of this crackle right here start to show up with the stone color
love that. I love this color, this particular color. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of spray sprays in general. They're very messy, but this particular color in Tattered Angel Spray, the Stone Glimmer Glam, huge fan of this one, which is why I bought a big bottle. It, and it just came while I was gone. See, big bottle, love it. I'm not gonna add water, but I am gonna do this and let it drip. And I'm gonna catch this spot up here that I'm now seeing that I missed. So don't be afraid, whether, no matter what you're doing, whether you're working on a mixed media piece or you're working on a painting or something like this, you know, turn your piece around, turn it upside down, get it from all angles. Let it drip, be messy. Work without a plan and just see what happens. <laughs> okay, so now I think I wanna, well, this is the, color cardboard. It's really, really brown, which might be fine, but I think I want to actually test it on a piece of paper first and see what color it is. So I'm going to shake it up and then I'm going to, let's see. It's a nice, it's a good color. Let's go easy with it though. <laughs> let's see what happens. Too much, too much, too much. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna go back with stone. I love this color, I'm telling you guys. Okay, and then I have a really dark one. This is called Boardwalk, and this is again a Glimmer Glam. And on the cardboard one, I don't know if it's, it doesn't have any mica in it, so it might be a chalkboard paint. It actually doesn't say on the label. It just says cardboard. <laughs> But these are all Tattered Angel sprays and you can find them on the website. And you can search on the website by like brand. And this one's really dark, it's like almost black. So it's really gonna highlight the cracks and I'm using some water to make things drippy and distressed. way that looks. Let's see how it looks with the center in it and let's let's pull out our plastic to see what it's going to look like. Yep. Okay. I'm going to stick some glue in there. And I'm going to use Elmer's Extreme, just plain old glue. You could use anything. But I'm gonna just put some, maybe put some, if it's not clogged up. There we go.
And Elmer's, you know, it's a glue that dries clear. So if you get it, get messy with it, it's not going to matter. It's going to dry clear. Okay, I like that. I do think I want to still put some of these metal pieces on here. So what we're going to do actually is take this and put it aside. I'm going to take some of these. I have a few of these little, these are again, these are from, um, so, uh, drink cans. I was going to say soda, but I actually think these are from beer cans, to be honest with you. I don't think they're soda. One might be, I, I don't drink soda. So, um, one I know is a Guinness can. I'm a big, I love Guinness extra stout. Just, you know, they're little, <laughs> little FYI. Um, one might be an iced tea. So um, we're going to spray some of these. Let's start with the stone and the black. And let's, okay, maybe a little bit of the brown. Just to make them less sh a little less shiny, and let's hit them with the heat gun. I did three of them because I like to add things to my canvases in odd numbers, in multiples of three, five, seven. I think it's more interesting. <clears throat> okay. So now before I do anything, I'm just going to take a look at it and see what I think. Yep, I like it. All right. I want to add one of them up here. Again, we're going to just use Elmer's. This is Elmer's Extreme. It dries really hard, really fast. I'm going to position this heart so it covers up the little eyelet at the top of the face. There we go. And I'm going to have them traveling, you know, down the canvas. Yep, there you go. I love that. I think it turned out great. Uh, I didn't plan it. I wasn't sure where it was going to go. Love it, love it, love it. So I will try to remember to make a note in the description below of the um, s materials that, uh, supplies that I used. Um, and while I'm saying that, I'm going to get out I think that's what I used. Okay. And um, so hopefully if you guys want to look into um, acquiring, I'm going to, I got this too wet right here. I'm going to put some glue there. If you guys want to look into checking out Canvas Corp and getting some of their products or one of the other non-Canvas Corp products I used on this, you can. Let's put some glue right there and stick something under that while it's drying. <clears throat> And uh, so look in the description below for that. I will try to remember if I forget something, you guys put something in the comments and I will link it 
um, then. I, I did pull some architectures out and I ended up not using them. I like the way this looks the way it is and I'm not going to add anything else. So that's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, please. And if you can um, and would like to support my channel, please do so by shopping over at my Etsy shop. The link's in the description below. The most important thing, though, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.